Hey guys, how's it going? Julian here. Welcome back to Actually Come My Reviews. How's it going? So I'm in Bilbao, Spain right now. And it's really because of this car. This is the all-new Audi Q6 e-tron quattro and this has got big shoes to fill because this car goes up against the ever beautiful bmw ix it goes up the ever popular mercedes-benz eqe suv and of course the highly accomplished porsche macan bev so as its name suggests this car sits nicely in between the audi q8 e-tron as well as the audi q4 e-tron that was very recently launched in singapore question is can this car do what it takes to be number one. So the Audi Q6 e-tron that you see here is based on the same 800 volt platform, PPE platform, as the Porsche Macan BEV that you see right here. So it allows super fast charging. It goes from 10% to 80% in just 21 minutes. So it's super cool. But that aside, right, the first things first is how this car really looks. In my eyes, it looks superb because this LED light is a sight to behold. What is an Audi without a light show? And Audi really showcases this with the Q6 e-tron. This has got 61 programmable LEDs according to Audi and you can select one of eight different designs from the inside. When you do that, when you start the car, light shows begin. Super duper cool, right? So the headlights are now here. And of course, you get this inverted single frame grille. Now, all the fully electric vehicles will be inverted. You can't really see it. Honestly, you have to put like an ICE version with this side by side to see whether or not it's really inverted. But whatever the case, even if I cover this four rings up, you know it's an Audi. You cannot mistake this car for anything else. Now, around the back is one of my favorite places because the light show continues right here. Yes, you still get that same tail light spanning the width of the rear as with many modern uh, uh, vehicles today. But what really happens is that this has another light show going on. Something that you've seen probably on the Volkswagen ID4, but this just brings it to a whole new level because there's like 360 different segments inside this OLED new OLED second generation according to Audi but it looks really really cool if you actually have the time to watch the video you can actually see how specific this really is and it's more about design it's more than just design in fact because this actually allows communication to road users as well as other cars so for instance if a car is too near it will start doing different designs if a cyclist is going past and the door is open it'll do different designs as a matter of fact if I actually turn on the hazard light you'll actually see a small little triangle here to tell people that you know what I'm in danger or maybe perhaps I need to stop please keep a distance from the car so it's really really cool and of course it being a fully electric vehicle means there are no exhaust pipes and you get the Audi Q6 right here to tell you that it's a special car open this up and you'll be faced with 526 liters worth of hauling capacity now 526 means you can put three luggage inside no problem easy peasy lemon squeezy um whether or not this car can pass the anti-trolley length test well when it comes at the end of this year we will show you whether or not it passes <laughs> and if that 526 liters worth of hauling capacity isn't enough for you well the q6 e-tron offers you 64 liters of frunk for you to put any cables muddy shoes grocery bags it's all here. So at the rear, it's a really comfortable place to be, right? I mean, I have crazy amounts of leg room. I've got really crazy amounts of headroom as well. As a matter of fact, this seat has already been adjusted. So I can even sit like cross-legged like this. I can even slouch a little. It still feels very nicely reclined. Um, I think so far, my only complaint is the fact that the interior is it's kind of like cream color which is not really my thing i would prefer it to be all black because i'm afraid that this will just get dirty really quickly but, but that's just me right you also get very important features especially that's relevant to singapore like aircon vents right here i just don't understand though why there are a lack of like usb-c ports behind i kind of expected usb-c ports around but they are definitely in front but that's besides the point. Point here is you can fit three, no problems whatsoever. It's easy for me to even move to the center. It's slightly elevated, but I still have a bit of space to put my legs because all, while it's a bit short and you can't put it on in the center itself, at least it's down low. So you can still fit nicely with both your friends at the side, right? But if it's just the two of you guys, just sit down, relax, push this down, have a cup of coffee. No problems, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ah, but... The one thing I have to complain about, Audi, is this. 
come on, man. I would prefer like the full-on leather rather than this mesh, but that's, that's just me finding faults with the car. Now at the helm, that's where this place becomes extremely magical, right? I mean, you'd be faced with um, this lovely steering wheel right here, multifunctional, no less. I mean, beyond that, right, it's an 11.9 or rather just 12-inch infotainment system or instrument panel here that sort of merges with that 14.5-inch infotainment system. This is all new. It's curved nicely. But what's really cool is that your passenger gets another 12-inch display right here. So he or she can meddle with the navigation, the radio whatsoever while you just focus on driving. This whole place is new. I mean, it's all new electrical architecture. It's based on an all new 800 volt PPE platform. Everything is just new with the Q6, which is why, according to Audi, this car is such an important model for the brand. But more importantly, up front, first and foremost, you get that two USB-C ports here. You get space to put your cell phones here, which is kind of cool. You get cup holders as usual, and you get nice, spacious cubby hole right here to stuff water bottle notes what not, what not all inside here uh, but this is where um you really or something that you really need to understand unlike some of its peers right where everything needs to be controlled here when it gets really annoying audi sort of realizes that and it sort of puts the important things in physical buttons so for instance adjusting the mirror is one thing your aircon vents is another, your volume knobs. It's all very nice, neat, and very clear. More importantly, because a lot of stuff are already inside and they still kept min physical buttons to a minimum, it looks very neat and minimalistic here. The only complaint I have is the fact that this comes in piano black, which means it leaves a lot of fingerprints all over after a while which is why it's sort of important. If you are the kind of fussy person like I am, you just gotta bring a cloth with you and start cleaning everything up every single time. <laughs> but that's just me. But other than that, everything here looks very good. You get this wooden trim here, nice soft rubber, nice leather suave beige color that matches the seats. Everything feels nice, it feels great, it smells great. The only question is, can the Audi Q6 e-tron drive as well as it looks? Well, it's one way to find out. So the Audi Q6 e-tron Quattro car that we have here is obviously an all-wheel driven car, right? So there's two electric motors, one in front and one at the rear. Both of them combined to give this car a total output of some 380 brake horsepower and a generous dose of 580 newton meters of torque. So it gets from 0 to 100 in about 5.9 seconds. Now considering this car weighs over 2.3 tons, 5.9 seconds is relatively impressive to me things, right? But what's also impressive is the fact that this car comes with a massive 100 kilowatt our battery so it allows this car to have some 625 kilometers worth of uh, range when it's fully juiced up on paper right but when we first got the car this morning it was more like 70 percent charge so it, it's not really accurate but i reckon uh, in real world driving if you charge this car to its max you would probably get some 570 to 580 kilometers uh, in totality worth of range now to put that into perspective 570 kilometers should be able to last you some 10 to 14 days in Singapore. Again, of course, depending on the distance that you drive every day, uh, depending on how you drive as well. You could drive this car like a madman, you obviously wouldn't be able to get 570, much less than that. Probably 500, probably 480, which is still very usable if you were to ask me. So you could drive the Q6 e-tron Quattro like a madman, but you cannot defy the laws of physics. You will still feel, feel a little bit of roll, even though this car can definitely hold its own very, very well. I mean, as ample grip, it will go through bends with a lot of confidence, with a lot of poise. But I do have a complaint, and that's the fact that the steering wheel doesn't give you enough communication. There's just a lack of feedback, even though it's well-weighted and it's very accurate. It's almost like a point and shoot, I would say. Um, and another thing is, because the uh, Q6 regenerative braking is strong, strong enough for you to have this one pedal driving mode. You do need a little bit of time to get used to it. There are five settings in total. My personal favorite is that the strongest one. So all you have to do is just tap the uh, gear lever into B and it becomes the strongest regen braking. I reckon the strongest regen braking makes the most sense for two very good reasons. I mean, if you're driving an EV car, you want to recoup as much range as possible. 
and strong regenerative braking helps you with that, so that obviously makes sense. Second reason is, you know, wear and, wear and tear on your brake pads will be down to the minimal, right? So that's always a good thing. Helps you save money when you do servicing, so and so forth. <laughs> but, but again, that's me, right? Uh, but make no mistake, this particular variant that we have here is not a performance model. It doesn't pretend to be a performance model, so it's something that you can really appreciate is the Q6's honesty. It is still a family car. It is... And for that, for an SUV, it really excels. It ticks all the right places, right? It's got sufficient space. It's got a lot of pace for sure. And the way it drives, obviously, it has a lot of grace too. So it's very difficult to fault this car. It's not perfect. I don't think it's meant to be perfect. But for those of you out there, who are speed demons and you're like, no, I want this car to be a sports model, but you're in luck. So Singapore will be receiving three variants in total. The first two variants that will be arriving will be the Q6 e-tron Quattro. The other one will be the single motor rear wheel driven Q6 e-tron. These two cars will be coming to Singapore at the end of the year. Now the juicy top of the line model, the RS Q6 e-tron will be arriving next year, second quarter. Now, regardless of whatever models that arrive, when it comes, we will be sure to test drive the cars to give you guys an in-depth update of how it performs in Singapore. Have it guys that is the first drive of the all new audi q6 e-tron quattro hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as i have driven the car please don't forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel and comment in the comment box below and let us know what you think about this car also you can follow us on tiktok our handle is at ashikamat in the meantime stay safe be well and i'll catch you guys back home what a beautiful car this and i'm only saying that because singapore pr is actually over there looking at me <laughs> <laughs> you get really, really important things. Important things as as important as... I don't know what the f I was talking about. Sorry, I gotta do that again. Hey, sorry, Wei Feng, listen. I don't feel like doing a safety. Like, do you think it's possible? We just, just do this, okay? <laughs>